first off, Jeff, happy holidays. What are you going to be doing here in a couple of weeks when Christmas comes around? Uh, not much. Just recruiting here in the next couple of weeks, but that's about it. We were catching up earlier today. A lot of social media efforts uh, taking place, not only for the department, but your golf team as well. When you look at social media, what do you think has the biggest impact on potential recruits? Um, just being able to show the campus. Uh, it's a great opportunity for us to show them the campus without getting here. And, you know, once you get them on campus, this, this, our campus is amazing and it's a great place to be. And we just try to tell the story of the campus. Do you take them to campus or up on the mountain? Oh, it's all the mountain, but the golf facility. Where, where do you take them first when you bring them on campus? Um, we usually just take them around main campus first yeah. and make them wait a little bit. We don't want to show them too much too early. So, What's your favorite part about the, new, the facility? It's a couple of years old now, but uh, it's, it's sparkling. It's awesome. It's really cool and quaint when you get up there. When you're able to kind of just walk around, what's your favorite nook and cranny of that facility? Uh, of our facility, just yeah. the practice area, just yeah. the driving range and the tee boxes and the targets. That's probably my favorite part of our practice facility. Up to top. All right, let's take a look at this past uh, fall, five tournaments. Uh, you're able to compete and use a lot of kids out there. Who impressed you uh, this past fall? And uh, as you kind of look to the to the spring, uh, kind of recap uh, the fall and how it went. Had a really good production um, from a few guys unexpectedly. Um, Definitely Irvin Chang played, had a good fall. Uh, he played really well, so we were excited to see that. Um, we knew he had it in him. He had a good summer playing, and uh, that just carried over to the fall. So he, he was uh, great to have him in the lineup and great to see him play, and he's a good kid, and it was good to, fun to be. Um, but as far as uh, the other guys, you know, we, we struggled. Some guys played well in a few tournaments and played bad in a few tournaments, and we just need to clean that up going into spring. What are the guys doing now? Exams are coming up next week. As far as their training, what they're doing, give me an idea. Yeah, normally they'll be getting ready for tournaments. Um, with Liberty pushed back here a week, a lot of them miss tournaments that they normally play in um, that are going on the week of finals. So, But they'll get back home and practice. Um, some of them are going to be able to get out of finals early enough to go play in tournaments. Um, the rest of them will wait after the New Year's and then play in a few tournaments there. So they'll get home and practice and get ready for the spring. When you look at critiquing swings and, and, and different shots that they take, how much one-on-one -on -one do you get with them now versus maybe when the spring and tournaments get going? Um, this depends on the player. It's all around the board. So some of the players we work a little bit more with and some of them we just kind of leave alone. So just depends on the players. But, yeah, this is a good time for us a year to get with them, try to work on stuff that uh, – uh, we needed to work on in the fall that maybe we just didn't have the time to do or didn't want to address it yet. So it's a good time to, for them to work out some of the kinks, no matter if, whether we're working with them or they're working with their coaches from back at home. So, Looking ahead to the spring real quick, see best Invitational will be here before we know it in early February. Uh, it seems like year in and year out, your program plays in a lot of common tournaments, uh, and you've made some good relationships with some of these schools that host these and these golf courses. When it comes to scheduling tournaments and making the right fit for Liberty, give me an idea of what goes into all that. Yeah, I mean, we just obviously want to play in the strongest tournaments we can play, and that's our number one goal. We've we've got a lot of good uh, relationships with a lot of good coaches that we play about the same schedule every spring, and hopefully we'll be able to set more of a set schedule in the fall. We've kind of been all over the board in the fall. But, yeah, we've got uh, – we start early. Our philosophy is to start as soon as we can. Um, and we've always played well at the Seabest. You know, I think we've finished top three there almost every year. So um, I'm not sure exactly why, but we're going to keep going there and playing. So it's a great tournament. All right, Jeff, we appreciate your time. Have a good holiday season, and I'm sure we'll be catching up with you soon, okay? Sounds great. Thank you.